We need that. What? We need a little recomposer. All right, everybody, Tuesday workout, and uh, we're, we're doing a hurricane. And there are times I hate doing the hurricanes in certain months. It is hurricane season, but when we started doing the hurricanes, we didn't have like every year was a terrible hurricane. It I was know. like once in a blue moon, you had a random really bad one. Now they seem to be a little bit more common. Yeah. So um, the point of a hurricane, the whole, whole name came from it was to break down a system and then build it back stronger, right? So you actually have to go pretty fast in a hurricane. It's not called a tropical depression for a reason. It is a hurricane. So, um, and just like many other instances, once places get hit by a hurricane, they build back the infrastructure even stronger. So that is short story of why the hurricane got nice, the name hurricane. Nice recovery there. You smooth that over. Yeah, well. so that's why. Um, so we're gonna do a hurricane today, but if you are new to it, wait and we'll explain it. If you know what it is, you know you need to warm up. So jumping jacks, seal claps, crisscrosses, you ready? Get rocking and rolling, coach. Let's do this. Ready and let's go. One, we got 15 of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 arms out in front, open the chest up nice and wide. Ready again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Arms wide. Feet wide. Crisscross. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15. Feet are going to be wide. We're gonna side lunge, reach, and then rotate, and then repeat on the other side. Side lunge, reach, and rotate. We don't wanna speed through those. You really wanna loosen up the legs, loosen up that thoracic spine. Ready? Yes. Three on each side, here we go. We're gonna lunge. We'll reach, we'll rotate. Other side. What? I'm always shocked at how um, tight I feel going into this and all the cricks and cracks that <laughs> It's It's like we don't ever work out. I know, it's like, um, have you even moved yet this year? <laughs> oh my gosh. I always just say, imagine if we didn't. Right. What that would feel like. What that would feel like. All right, I don't want to steal the stopwatch. We are going to do a cross body kick into a full body reach. Get, try to get your arms up by your ears and also try to get that leg straight back behind you. A lot of times I see it's all bent here. So best you can. Extend it out. Extend it out. Yes. 20 seconds. Ready and begin. And we're not rushing. If you get three in, great. If you get 10 in, great. One more will do me. And time. Let's go ahead and switch. Get the other side ready. Begin. Really long 20 seconds. Time. <laughs> I had to get, get even on the, each side. All right, inchworm. So we're going to start from that plank position. We'll walk our hands back. We walk our hands forward. We want to keep weight in the hands the whole time. So we're stretching the hamstring, activating the core, activating all those shoulder muscles. 20 seconds. Ready and begin. Let's 
It's a fast inchworm today. That's right. Making it happen. A motivated inchworm. And time. The kangaroo is next. So we are going to, it's essentially a squat jump. In normal times, we would travel. So if you have room, you might kangaroo across your basement and bring it back. It's the landing that's most important. So we're gonna hop up, land nice and soft. Hop up, land nice and soft. If you have room, hop forward, hop forward, okay? 20 seconds of that. We're going in four, three, two, one, and here we go. Land soft. Time. Woo! Feeling, feeling the kangaroo. All right, we have forward and reverse skip. So keep it everything nice and compact. Forwards and backwards. If you don't have room, you can actually just stay in place. Okay. Ready and begin. It doesn't take much room for this one though. Four or five feet. That's all you need. We're getting warmed up, little by little. And time. The icky shuffle is one, two, three. Say it in your head. One, two, three. One, two, three. When you add pace to it, chop, chop, chop. Okay. Staying low in that athletic position. Ready and begin. One, two, three. Time. But kickers are next. So these can just be marched if you want or Pick up the tempo a little bit. It's gonna elevate that heart rate. Okay. You ready, coach? Ready. Three, two, one, and let's go. Sometimes I like to travel with these a little bit. Yeah, move around, go in a circle. 10 more seconds. Kind of burns off some time. That's right. <laughs> Change your perspective. And time. All right, we're going down to the floor. So both of these are sided. So we'll get one side for 20 seconds. We'll get the other side for 20 seconds. We don't want to alternate these. The bird dog will be our first one. We want our hands directly under our shoulders, knees directly underneath of our hips. We're going to reach and return. We don't want to lift up. We don't want to crunch in. Reach and return. 20 seconds. Ready? And to begin. See if you can focus on that breathing. And time. All right, three, two, one. On the other side, go. Reach your fingertips and your heel as far away as you can. Yep. Time. The next one we'll do is a hip circle. Okay, so still line up. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. You're gonna do a giant hip circle without bending that elbow. A lot of people like to lean or have that elbow bend. That makes it much easier. We don't wanna do that. We wanna really loosen up those hips. Yeah. Doing it properly, it's usually a little groaning. Yeah, a little <laughs> challenge. You certainly feel it a lot in the core. All right, we're gonna do 10 seconds and then we'll switch directions for 10 seconds. 
Ready and begin. Just make big circles with those knees. Reach up towards the ceiling. And change direction, same leg. Let's do the other way. This is one through the month you start to feel a little time. A little, little better loser. About, yep. We're going other side, same thing, and begin. And other direction. Time. All right. I don't know about you, but I'm warmed up. Yes, me too. Okay. So, for those of you, for the two, two, three, 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 three. let's start that again. I need that to warm up. <laughs> For those of you that are new to the hurricane, uh, it starts off with something really, really fast, some sort of cardio. Um, if you were to train with Coach Amy or I, we would have you do some sort of sprint work, something like that. But since we're doing this at home, we're going to pick fast things that we can be done right in place, and you're going to do that for 25 seconds. Now, if you start to slow down at 20 seconds. I'd rather see you stop at 20 seconds. If you can go past that 20 second mark to the 25 second mark, great. But it is geared for 100% effort at that first cardio exercise. After that, we're going to do two more strength-based exercises. So it's not going to be as fast. We want a lot of control with those. Okay. And those are 10, I think 10 or five each. So 10 or 5 each of those, okay? So round one, we are going to sprint. We're going to be sprinting in place. What's the difference between fast feet and sprinting? Fast feet, I'm here like this, right? Not a whole lot of the upper body is moving. Sprinting in place, we are going to use arms and legs, okay? I have my fingers spread, my arms 90 degrees right here at the hips. So it's going to be more of a full body movement for that one. When I say time, and I got to say time because the timer won't beep on this one. When I say time, you're going to do two exercises. One is a push press. So it's either here and pop it. Okay. Um, I would do all round one on one side, round two on the other side, round three, I would do five and five. Okay. If you have two dumbbells, you can do it just like this, or if you have one heavier dumbbell, right like this. Okay. After that, we're going to do a hip bridge pullover. So hip bridge, as I'm bridging up, I'm pulling and then I'm lowering back down bridge pullover back down. We also have, you have two dumbbells, bridge pullover and back down. Okay. We have a lot of bridges in this program. It is a hip hinge movement that we don't do a ton of. It is a great hip hinge movement. Everybody thinks deadlift, deadlift, kettlebell swing, that hip bridge is awesome. So we have a few hip bridges this month. Um, hopefully you don't get tired of them. They're a great exercise. So we're going to do that three times. You have to complete all of that in two minutes. So if you get it done in one minute, you have one minute rest. If you get it done in a minute, 27 seconds, you have 33 seconds rest. If you get it done in a minute and 52 seconds, you only have eight seconds rest. So whatever you have left is your rest. Three rounds. Then we have a full two minute rest. In that two minute rest, I'm gonna tell you what round two consists of. We have three rounds all together. And um, I don't know if you guys caught on to this, but lighter weights. So don't bring out the weights that you use for your strength training. Strength training. Like yeah. you want light, quick, fast. Trust me, you want rest. <laughs> you want rest in this. Yes. It will catch up to you. Um, I think I'll do the 
dumbbell, you do kettlebell option. Cool. Yeah. That works for me. All right. And that way they get the best of both worlds. Yes. All right. All right. Let me uh, kick off my Spotify. So as soon as you hear that whistle, go ahead and start sprinting in place. That's right. Uh, either myself or Coach Corey will say time or stop, something along those lines. And that will be your cue to get into those two strength exercises, your hip bridge pullover or push press and then hip bridge pullover. Exactly. Okay. Sometimes it can get a little confusing. Yeah. Once they do it one time, right. they got it. Exactly. So if you feel a little awkward with it this time, next time you do it, it's going to be perfect. All right, coach, it is timer number three and we're starting with those sprints. We're going in three. Two, one, begin. Here we go. Let's rip. Twenty seconds might be twenty-five seconds. You choose. Early in the month, it might be twenty seconds, and you add time to twenty-five seconds. Who knows? But you gotta go. Five more seconds. If you want. Three, two, one, and time. Push press here. Ten of them. Little legs in this one. Yeah, Use yeah, the yeah. momentum. Then we're coming down to that pull over. Watch behind you. Make sure you don't bang your head into your weight. That That's would, not good. That would be putting a damper on your workout. Push into those heels. Get those hips up. So we're done. We have 45 seconds of rest. It's not a lot. At 20 seconds, I put a hard stop. Whatever you're doing, you have to have at least 20 seconds of rest. Ooh. At the gym, I believe we're doing these with weight plates. Yeah. So if you have a plate that's got something that's like a little handle, handle, or it's easy. Not to like a dinner those. plate. Yeah. Like the weight weights. Thing. Yeah, exactly. That's also. A... I did this with my dinner plate. It Wait, nothing. <laughs> well, at least you were moving. <laughs> That's right. Ooh, all right, so set two. Same thing. Two of three. We'll go in three seconds. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Here we go. If you stop at 20 seconds and we're still going, you go right into your workout, right into your push presses. Right. 10 seconds in. Alright guys, keep that pace up. Remember, this is where we the sprint get, part. Get that heart rate up. That's 20. Time. Alright, 10 push presses. Five seconds, about oh, the same we're pace. We're on pace for same timing. Okay. All right. Time for a drink. This next one is our last one. It's the same thing. Last one. Now, when this one is over, whatever time you have left, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, we'll finish that one out. And then you have two full minutes. This is designed to get the heart rate really, really elevated. And then let it come all the way back down. Almost to resting again. Almost to resting. Yeah. Pre-warm-up heart rate. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> that might be a stretch. All right. Three, two, one. Last time sprinting. Woo. 
I'm ahead of you, coach. Oh, catch up. He's trying to play catch up. No, you're not. No, you're not. I'm going backwards. Just don't trip over anything. Like those dumbbells. Blooper reel. Last few seconds. Time. Woo! This one, if you're using a kettlebell, you might switch it. Five. Oh. Okay. Round one done as you as you're finishing up with those hip bridges. Woo! Round one is done. Okay. All right. We're gonna rest. Another thirty seconds of rest, and then a full two minutes of rest. Do you have a treadmill at home? Yeah, I was just about to say that. Or if it's a nice day outside and you have like a sidewalk out front where yeah. you could like you know, really run. Yeah, I mean, it might be awkward in a neighborhood where. <laughs> no way, we'll they'll be jealous. It. They'll be like, what is, <laughs> what's Sam doing out there? But I was just thinking, yeah. If you have a spot where you can go, maybe you have a park or something. Yeah, you have a park. Throw this up on your phone, mm -hmm. take your dumbbell with you. Maybe you got a little hill, a little incline yeah. hill. I like it to be able to get yeah. down the floor. Or a beach town, something like that. Yeah. This is a great one. Yeah. All right, this is one that you can do in confined space, but it's also great in the open. All right. All right, the next one we are going to do, fast feet compass. So. What that just means is I want you to step forward, step to the side, step back. Okay, so it's fast feet, step, 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 other side. Okay, fast. You just keep going for 20, 25 seconds. Then the two exercises are going to be a sumo squat. So if you have a dumbbell, you can hold them up like this. You can hold them down like this. Sumo squat into straight leg crunches, okay? I can lift up like this. I can use one weight here, kettlebell. I do just like this. Ooh, or no weights. Or no weights, or just reach up and touch your toes. Yes. Okay? Um, what's the first one? Sumo squat with the kettlebell. I would just do it right, right. like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Now you got your little. 15 seconds. That is it. Jeez. I know. That two minutes go by fast. Ooh, all right. Fast feet. Yeah. Compass action. Don't worry about getting all the patterning down. Keep moving. Just fast feet is the key. Yep. All Great. right. My legs are a little torch from Monday's <laughs> strength that we did. I know. Those previous workouts. Woo! My coordination. Time! <laughs> Starting to suffer a little bit. All right. Ten sumo squats. And we want that tempo, we want that pace. We're not strength training. Ooh. 
then for toe touches, if you can't touch your toes, touch your shins, touch your knees. Get what we're really focusing on is getting the shoulder blades up off the ground. Wherever that means. For Wherever you. that means. Okay, so a little time to rest. Just over 30 seconds. That's right. Keep that rhythm going. Keep that fast feet going. Don't watch our feet. It's a, they're a mess. They're a mess. I, I, was, I started out well. It didn't end as well. I didn't, I didn't even make my first one on my left foot. I was done. I was like, oh, this is an abomination. Yeah. All right. All right, here we go. In five, five seconds. seconds. Here we go, pass feet. All right guys, keep it rocking, stay up on the balls of the feet. Just move fast, that's what we're trying to do here. Woo! 20 seconds. Get in there. Time. All right, into those sumo squats. Make sure your knees and toes are pointing in the same direction. Come all the way up. Shoulders should be back. Oh, legs are working. Your imaginary rope. Oh, it helps. Yeah. It helps. All right. One more set in this second round. All right, we're moving. Set three, round two. We're already halfway through this. Over halfway done. Okay, that's, Over halfway done. That's a good thing. All right. Stand with those fast feet. If you are focusing more on the step, just do fast feet. Just do, maybe I'll just do fast feet with them, and if they got that coordination like you do, they can. I, I don't. Have they can do the compass part that's, of it. That's exactly what I'm missing in life. Coordination. Yes. <laughs> Doing that. Right. Here we go, fast feet. Yeah, I think I can just go fast feet. I'll be faster. This is how I'm gonna round it out. towards it. Five more seconds or you can be done. Time. Woo! Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. All right guys, wide in those sumo squats. Oh, okay. I do my toe touches without weight on this last one. And you repped out the sumo squats. I want to be done. Oh. Wow. Yay, round two. As you're finishing one up, that's awesome because we only have one more round to go. To go. It's a tough round, but just knowing in your mind. It's the last one. It's the last one. You can pull all of those, all the bits of your willpower together and finish it out. And on things like this where it's a timed sprint, and then you're doing the exercises for a number. Right. When it comes to cardio, we're not necessarily looking to go up in weight like we are in strength. You might finish two or three, so like we ended at 40, we had 45 seconds rest all three rounds. Mm -hmm. If that goes to 50 seconds, two weeks from now, we're getting fitter. We're getting more fit. 
You mean, oh, so you're saying as we, if we increase our rest, we could be finished faster. Faster, yeah. Yeah, yeah we want to get done faster. That's showing that you have more endurance, more of that quick burst power. I tell you what, you throw a scoop of creatine in, <laughs> it'll, change your, it'll change your workout. If you're not, if you haven't seen our vlog cast on Living Fit 40 and Beyond on the supplements, right. performance based supplements, That's we talked about creatine, that would be awesome in this workout. Yes. That would be awesome for this workout. Absolutely. I think it's awesome for all workouts, but. Knee tuck jumps, I'm delaying the inevitable. <laughs> I am not a huge fan of knee tuck jumps. However, they work. So, we're gonna jump up, tuck the knees, okay? You need to land soft. I give myself a little bounce in between, so I tuck, and then jump again. Some people just jump, jump, yeah. jump, jump. They're like Tigger. <laughs> Tigger's got bats. I can't. If that's how you do it, if you put your hands up here to give yourself some target, great. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to do an alternating reverse lunge. Just a real quick note on that. Squats would be okay if you need to yes. make the impact up. Or even a squat jump. Nope, squat jump. We're going to do a reverse lunge. This is that rotational lunge. Five on each side, and then wood choppers, just like this. Five and five. If you're using the kettlebell, I put the bell in the bottom hand, handle in the top hand. Ooh, you're going for some heavy weights. We gotta go. You just got some bonus work there. I know, right? <laughs> I might stop for that 20 second work on these. Yeah. Woo. All right, I'm at 20, coach is going to 25, and time. Okay. All right, reverse lunge, cross body. Five on each. One. Right, 10 total. <laughs> but here we go. Use your hips. You want to rotate these. Yeah, I'm using a lot of my glutes and core on this. Yes. This is not all arms. Yeah. It's really a full body yes. exercise. And now you see why we don't want really heavy weights for this. Oh. Coach, oh. I'm glad that's in the third round. And we don't have anything to do after this. My goodness. Hello, yellow. Yeah. Heart rate's up. Hello, yellow. This is what you worry. You're not getting a lot of rest. You need more. Maybe bump it down to three or four reps on each exercise. Can you drop your weight a little bit more? So, yeah. Um, if you need that. Can you go body weight? Right. Go with all of that. You do want to get a little rest to recover. At least 20 seconds minimum, hopefully at least 30. But we gotta start jumping again okay. in 10. Here we go. I'm glad you're smiling. <laughs> Your smile contagious, but if it was just me doing this, I might have some choice words for my coaches. It doesn't matter which side you did, as long as you get them both. Five on each side. 
There might be three on each side. All right, as you finish up, one thing I didn't demonstrate, as you rotate in this, what I don't wanna see, and I will commonly see this, is as you rotate, you arch your back, and you don't want your shoulders behind your hips. So as I rotate, I'm here, my core is really tight, and I'm back down, right out in front. So if you need, if you feel yourself arching your back, Lighten that weight a little bit. I think that it kind of like a kettlebell swing, like as you come out of your swing, you're really engaging those glutes and they're yeah. really strong at the top. That's how it should be at the top of your wood chopper too. Little tension. All right, coach. Good news. Last one. Last one. Woohoo! All right. Glad I fixed my ponytail for this last one. Little pipe jumps. Don't hurt yourself over there. I'm done. Oh, we're so close. I'm done. And time. Woo That's the sound of happiness. So close to the finish line. No draw can happen at the no. finish line. We are just focusing on finishing. <sighs> oh. Oh. Wish I could see my mind zone right now. It would probably be quite elevated. Mine had a new color. What was it? They came up with a new one. Was it purple? Burnt sienna. <laughs> Burnt sienna is what it is. Okay. I don't even think that's in Crayola anymore. That's okay. kicking it way back. Yeah? Yeah. Could be brick. Brick? Yeah. It's a new one? I don't know. You must have had like the 102 pack. Isn't that a color? I, you must have had the one with the pencil sharpener, the crayon sharpener at the back. That was the envy of all the- I uh, wanted that one. All the fellow kindergartners. That was it. You got a crayon sharpener. Your parents were rich. You were spoiled. You were straight up spoiled. And, and then you didn't even let me sharpen my crayon with your crayon sharpener. <laughs> Heaven forbid you let poor crayons over in your neighborhood. <laughs> oh. oh, Coach, I probably could wring out my shirt. Yeah, I'm all sweaty. That's pretty gross. And we have a fan going. I know, thank goodness for that fan. We upgraded the fan too. It puts out a little more volume. And, and quietly. And, and mostly quiet. Mostly more quiet. <sighs> All right. Let's do some standing stretches, okay? Because the energy to sit down will just be. I am, and I'm afraid if I do, I won't get up. <laughs> You might come back from lunch on Saturday and be like, really, he's still here? <laughs> Coach Court's still here? All right. You have a blanket and a pillow, I keep going. Um, let's start by getting that quad stretch. Loosen up those legs a little bit. Point that knee straight down. This is where we can focus on those deep, deep, deep inhalations. We call it diaphragmatic breathing. You wanna be way down here in the diaphragm. I switch sides. Is that what it's called, Coach? Oh, diaphragmatic breathing? Yeah. Or did I just make sounds that up? Sounds good to me. Okay. Now I'm just thinking about my breathing. Am I doing it right? All right. Am I breathing right? All right. So, put one foot out and sink back. Now, if you remember, I did a technique tutorial where you can put a foot up if you have an arm of a couch and then just turn, 
give that twist as opposed to reaching towards the toe, just twisting will stretch that hamstring. Another option, another version. All right, ready? We're gonna go feet wide, lunge one side, and lunge the other side. Oh, the cracks out. And the warm up and exercise, yeah. they're not as, not as squeaky. No popping. No popcorn. All right, we're gonna Lunge all the way out to one side. Once you've lunged out, we're going to reach up and over. So if your right hand is over, you should be lunging to the right and vice versa. And go switch sides. Lunge to the other side, arm up and over. Is it weird that I feel this more in my shoulder than anything? <laughs> mm, nope, you feel it where you feel it. <laughs> Like, that's a good shoulder stretch. Feet wide, we're going to come just hands down. It might be knuckles to the floor. If you have a yoga block, you might put a yoga block down there. Now rotate one hand up to the ceiling. And back down. Other hand up to the ceiling. down. And we're coming up with those feet wide. We're just going to lean back, hips forward, oh, head back. <laughs> Look real. And up. Let's go ahead and find a wall that we can chop. You want your hand facing up when you do this one. That's going to be put less pressure onto your elbow. And let's get the other side. I have the folks at home can hear the music. Yeah, otherwise I'm just okay. lip singing in my head. Yeah. All right, hands up on that wall. I'm going to stretch out the back. This might be a little back of the shoulders. And relax. <sighs> Coach, that was good. Great. That was great. It was great. So we, again, we don't call that a tropical depression. That is a, called a hurricane for a reason. You should be sweating from, literally sweating from your knees, sweat from your fingernails. <laughs> I want sweat coming out everywhere. Eyeballs are sweating. Um, if you liked it, hit like. Share. If you are one of those purists and you know Coach Martin and you know that the hurricane is only truly a hurricane if there's actual sprinting involved, we have modified this for the home version. Right. Relax a little bit. Just do it. Yes. Get moving. So um, thank you all for joining us on this workout. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. um, leave some comments. We love reading them. And you got anything for them, Coach? September, Tuesday? Yeah, just stick with it. There you go. Yeah. That's it. Be consistent, stick with it. That's it. Everybody out there, high five. Awesome job.